This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Good morning, RD. Got some big football news yesterday, and I know you've probably talked to a number of guys and with either within the program or high school kids. What's the impact that you've kind of felt in the last 24 hours with the Bryles and the Eno situation? Well, with uh, Kendall Browse, I mean, Michael Hawkins, uh, the four-star quarterback from uh, what used to be Allen, Texas. Now he's, uh, he's I believe, going, uh, transferred to, to, obviously, to another school. He was going to visit this weekend. I don't I, I highly doubt that that will probably happen. He was going to make a decision later this month, and I, I think Arkansas was, was in really good shape with him. So uh, I think that will probably uh, be off the table going forward but uh you know uh with the new uh, oc there'll be uh, a new board as far as quarterbacks uh and uh and i'm i'm sure uh, some f- familiar names will be, uh, probably be there but at the same uh, on the new board but uh i'm sure that there'll be some new ones uh too uh in the 24s and 25 and 26 class so uh I think Walker White's uh, a name to obviously keep an eye on uh, from Little Rock Christian because uh, uh, I think uh, uh, he's obviously a lot. He's got a lot of a lot of things to like uh, for for a quarter uh, for a quarterback OC uh, 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 going forward. So uh, it, it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting. to uh, see what happens over the next uh, few days and weeks. With Dan Enos, Richard, he has a decent track record with quarterbacks. I know B.A. has his best season here in his final season with Dan, and then Austin had a decent year in 2016. You've got some other guys, Jalen Hurts and uh, Talia Tonga Baloa. What do you think his reputation is with high school quarterbacks and when it comes to potentially playing for him in college? Well, uh, yeah. It- I, I tend to think that uh, they, they like his creativity. That's one of the things that the uh, you know I, that really impressed me the first year and 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 the other two years when he was at Arkansas. Obviously, that the 2015 was the best year because of the talent that that, that was uh, on the offense. But uh, I thought he was just very creative, and I think a quarterback uh, likes uh, some creativity and 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 uh, somebody that, that will uh, you know kind of mix things up i mean he's he's a, he's a guy that uh he is going to be more pass than uh run but will be uh probably 55 45 or something like that i mean that that was just what we saw when he was at arkansas at first uh first time what what will it be this time i mean obviously you got a different different head coach different uh philosophy uh but uh at least at, at maryland just seeing what uh uh, he did with the quarterback there. I mean, uh, the, uh, he, he had he had a, a very good season this year. So I think uh, quarterbacks will like uh, you know the, the offense and his philosophy uh, just about how to operate as a quarterback. With five of the ten assistant coaches changing from this past season into next year, how does that affect recruiting? I know the twenty three class is done, but. Where do you pick up? How do how do you manage those relationships moving forward with your twenty four commitments and your twenty four class and beyond? Yeah, it's it's kind of the same thing with uh, Enos. Uh, you, you, I'm, I'm sure you're going to have different uh, boards uh, than what they were before. You know, with the, the previous coaches at those those positions, uh, you're starting to see a lot of offers go out right now from a defensive perspective uh, with Coach Woodson and Coach Williams and. Uh, so, and they're, they're, they're reaching out to some guys that were previously on the board. So, uh, that, that's always the process that happens when you have a, ch- a coaching change at a position coach or a defensive coordinator, or offensive coordinator. But, uh, it, it does, uh, it opens up different areas where they obviously have ties to, you got, uh, Woodson, who's from Mississippi. See, uh, good gosh, I saw, I don't know how many offers going out uh, the last few days uh, to Mississippi kids. So he's going to use those ties and, and try to get uh, get into uh, in, into Mississippi pretty heavily. And, and, and something to not uh, not forget is Deke Adams is also from Mississippi. So 
uh, that that's also uh, you know two two coaches with a lot of ties to that state. Yeah, usually, but uh, w- go ahead. So there's usually forty. I think Ty was bringing this up. Forty some odd four stars or better. Uh, three stars are better, rather, in the state of Mississippi. So that, that that is some good good recruiting grounds. Yeah, there's no doubt. There's no doubt. Uh, you know, when, whenever kids go out of state in Mississippi in the past, they usually went to uh, Alabama and LSU. Uh, can can you get some to come to Arkansas? Well, why not? We'll see. Yeah. Only time will tell. Arkansas, you know, had some success in Mississippi, but not a tremendous amount. Uh, so uh, we'll we'll see what happens there. But uh, he, right now, we'll, we'll learn more about some of the t- ties that uh, some of the new coaches have, uh, besides you know what I just mentioned, over the next uh, few months. Interesting to see if there's any staff changes on the offensive side. You just brought in a new tight ends coach. You seem settled with your offensive line coach, Kenny Guyton at wide receivers. Jimmy, I, you know, new coordinator comes in. There's often at least one or two staff changes. That will be something uh, worth keeping an eye on. And what seemed to be a pretty or seems to be i shouldn't put it in past tense seems to be a settled offensive staff now i would think you know especially with uh spring practice coming up uh pretty soon i mean you go you have a, a you know obviously a, a, a month of a dead period in february but uh, they'll, they'll get into spring uh, practice mode uh, pretty quickly uh during the dead period and start planning uh, I, you know, there, 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 there's always a chance of uh, changes, but I, I tell you what, Sam Pittman seems, seems to really like Cody Kennedy as the offensive line coach, and 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 Jimmy Smith as the uh, uh, running backs coach, and and I, I think uh, with uh, Morgan Turner, his uh, reputation, his uh, resume looks pretty good. So I, I wouldn't doubt if if uh, you know they go forward with the staff that's in place now. And then obviously Dan can work with those guys, and then then uh, if if he sees that you know he, he would like to make a change, uh, I would I would think that maybe something like that would happen after another season. But uh, who knows? You you're you're right. That that's a possibility. But uh, uh, that's that's just my thinking. Every Thursday, Richard Davenport joins us here on the Morning Rush, Richard. When it comes to SEC experience, Travis Williams played in the league. He's coached in the league at Auburn. Then you've got Dan Enos, who's been at Alabama and Arkansas. How important do you think that was to Sam to get guys that have been in this league and knows what it takes to compete when it comes to recruiting? Yeah, I, I think I think it is big because, uh, I mean, it's one thing to say, that, yeah, you know, from afar, yeah, the SEC is the best conference in the and you know, in college football, but when you've uh, coached in it and you played in it and you've been around it, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's a different animal. So you, you truly understand the ins and outs of, of recruiting on the SEC level. You also know the type of quality of athletes that you need uh, on the uh, SEC level. So uh, I think it is an advantage, no doubt. Richard, I- Talk about a young man that you just wrote about, Robert Dover, a mountain home bomber. Uh, what can you tell us about a guy that's kind of flying under the radar at this point? Yeah, I think he's a guy that uh, is definitely flying under, under the radar. And talking to, uh, talking to his coach, uh, I mean, he's really not getting much attention. And, you know, I did write about him yesterday. UCA reached out and I think he's going to be at the school today, but uh, he's 6'3", 222 pounds. He's a, he's a three-sport athlete that really hasn't played, I mean, uh, been able to be in the weight room that much. But, man, he, he, he runs about a 4'7", uh, electronic, uh, according to Coach. And you look at his uh, film, the first two plays of his uh, highlight film, uh, he's chasing down running backs from uh, Pulaski uh, Academy and Little Rock Christian. So uh, he's one that uh, to keep an eye on. I think uh, I think he, he'll probably get an invite to Arkansas and a few other places because he, he's 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 truly off the radar, uh, according to Coach. Uh, no, very you know just mostly D two schools. But I think that his vid- his uh, highlight film shows a guy that uh, has a potential and, and uh, someone that is an intrigue intriguing prospect that will uh, have uh, you know coaches at least get him on campus for camps richard want to ask one basketball question and we'll let you uh, get back to it but you know arkansas has been losing a lot of games lately seems like after each loss we get a question or two from from listeners about 
losing recruits, losing commitments, people not wanting to come to Arkansas, seemingly in the afterwash of of each loss. Here, here's my question. What's more important, the number of games Arkansas wins down the stretch or how Arkansas's players perform in the NBA draft? Which which is paramount to the decisions that you think recruits, their handlers, their families, the whole ball of wax, what are they going to be evaluating more? How many players get drafted from this roster or how this team performs down the stretch? I think it's, I, I, you know, I'm not trying to take the easy way out, but I think it's a combination of both. But at the same time, I think uh, the NBA probably uh, uh, weighs a little, little bit more at this time. I say at this time because uh, – Let's face it, Coach, Coach Musselman is is a winner everywhere he's gone as far as in college. I mean, what he did at Nevada, Nevada hadn't been able to duplicate what they, the, you know, what he did. And then Arkansas back to back Elite Eight. So you you know that uh, you know it's just a matter of time till what what happens. Uh, you know, it, 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 what happens on the court improves. But uh, there's no doubt uh, the track record of uh, guys going to the league with Coach Muss is a big selling point. But uh, I think you still you still need to try to you know finish finish as strong as you can this year. And I, and I I mean hey we saw last night obviously they 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 had the opportunity to win the game. I mean they, they, it's not like that there's there's not talent there, but their margin for error is a lot less than uh, maybe uh, maybe it should be. Just because they're lacking some, uh, lacking in some areas, and and obviously missing two key, key, key uh, players. But uh, I think it, it's a combination of both. But uh, yeah, I mean the guys that when I when I talk to them, recruits, they they know about the track record of Coach Muss and the staff about sending guys to the league, and and that is a very very attractive uh, uh, quality, and, and and also uh, uh, willingness to play freshmen. And that's that's the, that's the, that's another thing mm-hmm. that uh, kids talk about and parents. Bet Online remains your number one source for all your sports betting this season. Everything from the NFL and bowl season to esports, you'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. We're the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite leagues and events. Head to betonline.ag to join and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Make sure to use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. That's B-L-E-A-V. BetOnline, where the game starts.